Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Smith from the library. I am here today to talk to you about databases. So you may be asking yourself, what are databases? Well, databases are a place where you can get information that is current. Databases are updated on a regular basis. Databases also have information you can trust. Databases are constantly evaluated for authority. Who wrote the information? Do they know what they're talking about? They're evaluated for credibility. Can you trust the information you're reading? They're evaluated for currency. Is the information up to date? And for accuracy, is the information correct? All of these things are very important when you're doing research and you're trying to find information that is true, accurate, up to date, and whoever wrote the information needs to know what they're talking about. Okay, what types of information is found in databases? Well, there's academic articles, there's magazine articles, journals, newspaper articles, there could be photos, videos, and primary source documents. All of these different types of information can be found in databases. You may be asking yourself, well, can't you just Google? And the answer is no. Information found in databases is not found on the web. Schools and libraries pay for students to use the databases that we offer here. In just a little bit, I'll show you all the databases we have here at Thornton. The information you find in databases you cannot usually find on the web because we pay for that information. And they're not going to just put it on the web where anybody can get it for free. Also, information found in a database is current, it's reliable, it's valid, it's accurate, and it's relevant to your topic. When you just Google, you cannot say that the information you find is always current. You cannot say the information you find is always reliable. You cannot always trust the information you just find on the web. So databases should be the first place you go when you're doing any type of research. Also, databases are not the internet. Again, information that are in databases, you may not you probably cannot find on the web when you just Google. So you're going to get new information that you can trust is up to date, is reliable, it's truthful, it's accurate. Okay, so we have three objectives today. First objective, you will be able to locate the databases Thornton High School provides. Second objective, you will be able to access the database that is best to use for this project, World Book Advanced. You're going to see we have many databases. The database you're going to use for this project is World Book Advanced, and that's the only database you'll be accessing. And our last objective, you will understand how to navigate and find information in the database World Book Advanced. So I'm going to exit out of my slideshow, and I'm going to pull up Thornton High School's website. In order to get to our databases, you have to go to Thornton's homepage. So I'm on the homepage right now. I now need to go to the library homepage. So at the top are all of these tabs. To get to the library, I click on, or I go to learning resources, and then I click on the library page. I'm now on the library homepage. Over here on the library menu on the left is a link, databases and research. That's what you want to click. So that's what I'm gonna click right now. These are all the different databases we have here at Thornton High School. Okay, so as I scroll down, we have some very specific databases just for social studies. We have country reports. So if you're looking for any information on a country in the world, here's where you need to go. We have US history databases. We have world history databases. We have science databases, environmental science, and just general science. We, have, we even have some streaming databases. So if you're researching something and you go into either classroom video or learn 360, you might be able to find a video on whatever topic you're looking for. At the very top is our general databases. We have EBSCO, Explora, Gale, um, JSTOR. Those are all databases that are excellent and where you can find a lot of information. The database you're using for this topic, for this project in your ELA class is World Book Advanced. So here is my database right here, World Book Advanced. When um, I'm using World Book Advanced, I can get there two ways. I can click the words World Book Advanced, that's a link, or I can just click the icon and it will take me there. Okay, this is a very, very important thing you need to listen to and remember. 
when you are on campus, when you're at school, all you have to do is come to the database page and click on one of these icons and it will take you directly to the database. When you're not at school, when you're at home, you have to have login information. That information is at the top of this page. Right underneath where it says databases and research, there's a link. It says usernames and passwords. If I click on that link, I'm going to get a chart. These are all of our databases, and it gives you the login information you need in order to access the database when you're not at school. So if I go to country reports at the bottom, here's my username, THS, and the password I use, Trojans. We're going to be using WorldBook, so I go over here to the WorldBook column, and I go down to the bottom. My username will be Adams12, and my password will be five star. And then there's a big, bold statement here. Do not log in with Google. When you go to WorldBook Advanced off campus, it will give you the option to log in with Google. We cannot do that with District 12. You have to, have to use your username and the password five star. All right, so I'm going to go back to our databases and I'm going to click on WorldBook Advanced. Now I've already signed in. To, ooh, I don't, so I get to sign in. So you can see right here it says sign in with Google, and we're very used to doing that. And I forget sometimes, and I just sign in with Google. That does not work for WorldBook Online. So my ID was Adams12. And there it is right there. And then my password was five star. So I'm going to type that in, and then I'm going to click sign in. Now I'm on WorldBook Advanced, and if I look at the top, it says Welcome Thornton High School, so I know I'm in the right spot. Here's my search bar. The easiest way to search WorldBook online is to put whatever topic you're looking for in the search bar right here. Um, I know you all are researching um, topics having to do with topics that you'll find in the book you're going to read of mice and men so it's topics having to do with the depression so i'm going to just write in here great depression and i'll see what pops up okay so here's my results i have 398 results that might give me some information on what I'm, what I'm looking for. I have some images, I have 13 images. So as I scroll down here, I'm gonna see what the titles of the different articles are. Here's Great Depression. I probably am gonna start with that one to begin with. But as I go down, I wanna see what else there is. Well, start, stock market crash of 1929, that might be something I'm interested in. Hoover'sville, that might be something. Here's another one on depression. So as I scroll down, I might have other articles that might give me the information I'm looking for for this project. I'm gonna start with the one at the top, Great Depression. I'm gonna click on the title. A couple things I want to show you as you navigate through World Book Advanced. First, there's some tabs at the, at the top. I'm on the article tab. This is the article I'm going to be reading. The next tab is standards. I don't have to worry about that, but I do want to look at images, videos, and audio. If I click on that tab, click on it, I have, WorldBook has found other information for me that might help me with what I'm researching. So there could be photos. So there's a lot of photos here that I could look at having to do with the Great Depression. There could be maps. There could also be videos and audio. So Again, all of this might help me find the information I'm looking for for my topic. I also want to look at related information. WorldBook does a great job. WorldBook will go and find additional information to help me with whatever I'm researching. So first I have primary resources. I have a whole list of primary resources that I can click on to get more information on my topic. Ebooks and books. Here are print books. You can see if we have these in our library, you could check one out. If there's eBooks available, they would be listed down here. So more places you can get information. There might be special reports. There could be websites that WorldBook has gone out and found and said, these are good places to get information about my topic, which is the Great Depression. Now be aware, if I click on any of these websites, I am no longer in WorldBook Advanced. I'm now out on the web. So America in the 1930s, I could go there and check it out, but I'm not in WorldBook. I'm out on the web, so I need to be careful. WorldBook has checked these websites out, but I still need to be aware to make sure I'm finding information that's current, accurate, um, and up to date. There could be magazine articles. 
So here's a whole list of magazine articles that World Book has found for me that might be helpful to what I'm looking for. Curriculum correlations, I don't have to worry about. I'm gonna go back to my article now. And over on this side, um, my research is not functional for District 12. So don't use my research, but there's a little gear icon here. I'm gonna click on that. Here are some tools that might help you as you're reading articles in World Book. First, there's a view option. You can change how you look at the article. There's a save option. I can actually save this article to my Google Drive. So if I don't get this article read today, but I don't want to forget about it, or I don't want to have to go look for it again, I could just save it to my Google Drive. Tomorrow I can pull it up and keep reading the article. I could share it. I could email it to myself. I could print it if I have um, a printer. Here's where I can get my citations. I'm getting information from this article. I didn't write this article, so I have to give credit to where the article came from. So I need to look down here, and there's different formats or different ways to do citations. The one that you will be using and that most of your classes use at Thornton is MLA. So here's MLA, so all I have to do is copy these two lines, highlight them, control C or just copy, and then I just paste it into my works cited document. That is the most wonderful thing with databases. All of the databases we offer here at Thornton High School, they do the citation for you. All you have to do is highlight it, copy it, and paste it into your citation page. I can also translate this text. If I can read and understand a different language, I can find that language, World Book will translate it into that language and then it's available to me. Um, and then text size, I can change the text size to make it a little bit easier to read. So those are some tools that here are available for you. I'm gonna start reading my article. So first thing, I have this picture here and I have no idea what this picture is. If you have a picture or an image, go down to this little icon in the bottom and click on it. It now gives you information about the image. It tells me the title, Bank Failures During the Great Depression. It gives me a little summary of what, what this image is representing. It tells me it's from this article, The Great Depression. It will even let me cite this article if I need to do that. All right. If I scroll down a little bit, and then I can get rid of that information if I don't want it, here's a video. I can watch the video. Here's my actual article, though. I want to start reading the article. There's another tool here that will help you. If it helps you to listen to an article being read to you, you have that option. So I can read the article on my own, but it might help me to hear it being read. It was the worldwide economic slump of the 1930s. So all I have to do is just click this little ear icon and it will start reading it to me. I can also change the voice. I can make it male. I can change um, the sound of the voice. I can make it go faster if I want. So that's another tool you have in World Book that would help you navigate through the articles. There's also a, one last tool I want to show you, and it's a dictionary. So if I'm reading this, Great Depression was a worldwide economic slump of the 1930s. I'm not sure what that word economic means. If I double click on that word, I'm going to get the definition right over here on the left. So whatever word I click in, in my article, I will get a definition. Here's a definition, or here's a word down here, industrial. I'm not sure what that means. If I double click on it, here's the definition. I can read through it, and then I can figure out what the article is telling me. So I'm reading my article. I have different sections of the article. I'm going to get all the way down to the bottom. There are two places where you can find citations. So I'm at the end of my article. I've been taking notes. I'm getting a lot of information. Now I have to do my citation. So again, if I click this little arrow right here, it will take me up to the top. I can get my citation through the um, gear icon up there and click citation. Or at the end of every article in World Book, if I go to the bottom of the article, and let me pull my cursor back down here, the citation is also at the very bottom of the article. How to cite this article. So again, here's MLA. That's the format I want. I would just highlight that, control C, or right click and copy, and then I would paste that into my works cited page, and then I have my citation. So that's World Book. Um, 
I want to go back very quickly and look at our objectives to see if we've made that if we've reached our objectives. So our first objective was to be able to locate the databases Thornton High School provides. I showed you that. You go to Thornton High School's website, you go into um, learning, let me show you again just to show you. You go into learning resources and then library and then databases are right over here. Our second objective, you'll be able to access the database that is best for use with this project. Again, the databases the database you're going to use is WorldBook Advanced. Remember, if you're not on campus, you need to go up here to this link, usernames and passwords, and get the username and password for WorldBook Advanced. And our last database, or our last objective, excuse me, was you will understand how to navigate and find information in WorldBook Advanced. I've shown you the tools in WorldBook Advanced. I've shown you how to cite your article. I've shown you how to find um, information on images if you come across images. So I think we've met all of our, our objectives for this lesson. Um, if you have any questions, please just contact me in the library and I will get back with you. Have a great day. Bye.